Hi, and welcome to the Ice Tech Guide. In this video, we're going to look at setting up the fit of your new ice trike. This will include setting the seat recline angle, the seat cover tension, handlebar position, and boom length. We will also look at the optional ice neck rest and wrist rests. Before we get started, make sure you have a 5mm and a 4mm hex key to hand. So, let's start with the seat. Adjusting the seat angle on your ice trike is very easy. Simply undo the quick release lever located behind the seat to release the seat bracket. Lift the bracket off the quick release by tipping your seat forward. To select a different slot, turn the bracket like so. Then replace the bracket over the quick release and re-tighten. If you have an ICE Ergo Flow seat cover, you can also tailor the fit of your seat by adjusting the tension straps on the back. For example, if you want to feel like your seat is hugging you slightly more, you can loosen the straps slightly. This is something that will be quite personal, so have an experiment with this over a few rides to find what feels most comfortable for you. This can be done on the Ergo Lux seat covers as well, although these covers have much thicker padding so the result won't be quite as obvious. When adjusting the seat cover straps, you should always make sure they are not so loose that your back can come into contact with the seat brackets or frame. Once you feel comfortable on your seat, you can set the handlebar position. The handlebars can be tilted forwards and backwards and can be made wider or narrower. To adjust the handlebars, undo the quick release levers which are located under the seat. You will notice on your ice trikes handlebars some clamps with what look like teeth on them. We will get to the purpose of these shortly, but before continuing, make sure they are loose on the handlebars. You will also notice the handlebars have width guide markers. We recommend using the target marker as a starting point for the handlebar width. Sit on the trike and adjust the handlebars so that they feel comfortable, then tighten the two quick release levers. Be aware that finding the optimum handlebar position that is both comfortable for you and gives the best steering performance can sometimes need a little compromise. Setting the handlebars too wide can result in components touching. Setting them too narrow will result in reduced steering lock as the handlebar contacts the trike's seat sooner. Once you have adjusted the handlebars, check no components are touching. When you are happy with the position, you can adjust the locator clamps. The teeth on these clamps fit snugly into the teeth on the handlebar midsection. These are designed to hold your handlebars more tightly in position and, more importantly, enable you to put the handlebars back in exactly the same position after folding your ice trike. Now you can adjust your boom length. The boom is the front part of the frame on your trike. This slides in and out of the main frame to give a huge range of leg length adjustment. The boom has a measurement guide etched into one side. This gives you a reference when you adjust the boom length. It also has an etched line which matches up with an alignment sticker on the frame to make it easier to keep the boom upright. Loosen the frame clamp bolts with a 5mm hex key. Adjust the boom length by pulling or pushing. This process may be easier with someone to help out. Sit comfortably in your seat. Make sure your body is pressed firmly into the base of the seat. Don't stretch or slouch. Place your heel on the pedal at its furthest position. Now adjust the boom until your heel is against the pedal and your leg is straight. Line up the guideline with the sticker on the frame and tighten the bolts to lock the boom in place.
Put your feet on the pedals and turn the crank slowly. Your legs should extend fully without your knees locking or your feet pointing. If your knees are locking or you feel like you're pointing your feet, adjust the boom in slightly. Once you have your boom length set, you will need to set the chain length. For this you can refer to our setting your chain length technical guide. Once your chain length is set, take your trike for a short ride to see how it feels. You may need to make some fine adjustments to the boom length. Small adjustments of around 1.5cm either direction should be fine without having to redo the chain length, but make sure you check the extremes as mentioned in the setting your chain guide after making any adjustments. The overall comfort of your ice trike can only be determined by riding it. You may find all these settings need tweaking as you get used to riding your trike. Along with your ice trike, you may have both the ice wrist rests and one of our ice neck rests. As body contact points, these are worth mentioning here. The ice wrist rests fit to your handlebars and can be adjusted up and down. The foam pad can also be turned around to adjust the angle at which your wrist sits. The ice ergo and air pro neck rests can also be easily adjusted to suit any rider. Once you have your seat recline set, you can adjust the neck rest's height and reach very easily. Make sure you do this with your bicycle helmet on to ensure the neck rest does not interfere with your helmet.